Hello, 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 hello. So, I'm Lynn Browder. And can you guess what we're making? <laughs> I felt like we needed a little bit of a heart tonight. Sometimes you just need... You just need a little heart. So that's what we're doing. And it's going to probably get bigger and bigger as I go along here because I'm, you know, just eyeballing it. Um, there are people that can draw straight lines without even thinking about it. That is not <laughs> me. And it's actually one of the things that kept me from painting for years was that I was worried because I'm not a great painter. I, I'm getting better. I'm doing fine. I love painting. And I'm the first to admit that I do painting from my heart. I don't, I do not have like this, like, I don't want to say I don't have a skill because I've worked on it and I've gone through and I do the things, but it's not something that is just, that's what it is. And like, I just, I'm learning about painting still. Um, I, there's a lot of my paintings that make my, well, heart very happy because they share our story or they tell something or I just think they're funny or silly how I made them and the list goes on and on and on um but again I'm not like this trained artist I'm training but it's more about doing what you love so do what you love you know and if it doesn't look like what you want it to do, keep trying, keep working on it, keep making changes to your art and keep growing and keep looking for new ways to, to work on your art. And that's, that's the important part is doing what makes your heart happy, literally, figuratively, emotionally, whatever you need it to be, whatever you need it to be, um, that's what I say. So I thought I was just going to put some random, you know, flowers on here. Don't know quite why I drew the line across. Don't know that I'm going to fill it all in. I haven't really gotten that far <laughs> through the process. Um, I didn't intend on having it like exactly, you know, perfect in the sense of where everything was going to go, but sometimes you need that, I suppose. Now see here, we're going outside the lines. So, got to decide if I'm going to cover all the cream or just let it be what it is. I think 
as we do more, we shall decide that. <laughs> Sometimes it's not like an obvious decision, too. Sometimes we have to like debate about it. So I think it's kind of filling itself in. I can technically like, you know, do some more like little Little leaves. Whoops, now see that is a chunk among them. Sometimes the paints dry, um, and when I open them, they get little crusty thingies on there. And that was, I think, what that was. Uh, Whoa, I almost let that go everywhere. Sometimes my flowers feel a little more, um, well, that's kind of cool. Like, break out there. Um, a little more purposeful, and sometimes they feel a little more mushy and out of something. I think I need, if I'm gonna keep filling this in, I think I need more of the orange that I had here. I only put a tiny bit of the orange because I really didn't think I was gonna fill it in as much as I am. So, and then if I have it in a lot, no. Avalon, Av, I can't talk, and Avalanche, that is not the color I used, see, Avalanche, I'm telling you, Ooh. and then I poured a ton, <laughs> ton of it. Okay. See, I like the mushy ones, like, like that. That's to me. That's kind of cool. What happened there? And then just kind of mush it in there. So, one color of green has kind of gone under <laughs> when I added the orange and yellow again. Um, it kind of went under there. That's okay. I don't technically need it. Okay. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, we do O for Owen. And then L. And B. There we go. Alright. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Toodles, toodles.